so today I've got a Korean and Japanese beauty product haul for you guys. I've got both skincare and makeup and all of these things are from Yes Style. I first heard about Yes Style from like Gothamista, Renee. I love her skincare videos and she's been talking about like several products that I just can't find anywhere else and it's really great because they have worldwide shipping so I got all of these things while I was in New York and I also picked up some really interesting new products to me that I want to show you guys. I have everything in like a bag here. I don't know if I want to like split it up into like skincare and makeup. I think probably yes. Okay, let's go through skincare first. Do you like how I just make really spontaneous decisions while I'm on camera? It just, it happens. Most of you guys are pretty familiar with this. This is the CauseRx One Step Pimple Clear Pad and I just love it. I didn't bring this to New York with me so I kind of missed it while I was there. I was due for a refill anyway, right? So this is what I got. If you guys don't know what the CauseRx pads are, they are pre moisture pads that help you clear your face. And I really freaking love this for traveling because you can put this on your carry-on and they cannot say anything. The customs lady pulled this out and she was like looking at it and then I was like, oh, these are pre moisture pads. And she was like, yeah, I can read. Which, by the way, completely unnecessary, but yeah, she couldn't take this away because it's not technically like liquid. This next item is from Secret Key and Secret Key is one of the brands that I just cannot for the life of me find on any other site. And I actually had a few of their other products but I had to give them away because I couldn't bring everything back. So I actually gave it to my friend Joyce and I don't have them on hand. But this is the Lemon Sparkling Peeling Gel. I don't know what this is similar to. I think it's Cure. Like Cure. It says here it has refreshing lemon water and rich carbonated water. But I don't really know what is inside it. It's very magical. Like this product. So it's like a cleanser. It's very gelish. You put it on your skin and then as you rub, all of the dead skin cells just kind of come off in little pills. It's kind of gross but kind of satisfying. And the thing I love about it is it's exfoliating without being very harsh on your skin. I've pretty much completely weaned off... Um, scrubs with actual granules that feel really like rough to the touch. I have very sensitive skin so I feel like that's not the way to go. So I've only tried it on my hand as you can see in the little clip right there. Uh, but yeah, I'm very excited to try this out. It's just had great reviews and I'm just... So I've also been really interested in Neogen and Neogen is a Korean brand I think. Yeah, I have a serum and a sunscreen. Now this serum is like really freaking interesting. It's called the Serum and Oil Drop and it's infused with white truffle. Don't know if this is limited edition. Uh, I think it's just like really popular and it was like running low and stop but I love, 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 love the Huxley Oil and Essence and I wanted to try this one too because it sounds like that's what it is. It's a serum and oil drop so I think it's like a combination. Also it's kind of beautiful. I don't know, it's, it's kind of like, wow. I generally like the feel and the finish of it but I don't know how well it does in the long run just because I haven't tried it out so much yet so I will update you guys. And this is the Daylight Protection Sunscreen. It's SPF 50 PA++++. I haven't tried it out yet, but I'm excited to see how this fares. Uh, I like the packaging. I think it's very sleek and it's very pretty. I think I just randomly stumbled onto this one, but I have been obsessed with clay masks. I just like love, 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 love clay masks. I have like a ton. And I wanted to try this out because it says Glacial Clay. This is from Skin and Lab. It's a Dr. Paw Tightening Glacial Clay Face mask. It's supposed to be purifying, cooling and pore refining with um, Canadian Collodial Clay and Avena Sativa Oatmeal. I've been meaning to try out infused clay masks, so clay masks that have like other stuff in it. And I like that it has oatmeal because I think it will be more like nourishing and slightly more gentle than other clay masks I own because some of them are like really hardcore. So this is really interesting. I shall open it and see what it looks like. Oh, it just looks like this. It really does just look like clay with oatmeal, which is exactly what I want. So haven't tried this out either. Excited to try though. And that's all we have for skincare. Let's move on to makeup. Makeup's pretty exciting because I do have quite a bunch of stuff. I haven't bought makeup, I mean minus the Black Friday haul, but I haven't bought makeup in a while. Korean makeup especially, so I'm very excited to get started. Try to just go through like nail polishes first, because that's the one thing that I love about like Korean makeup, is that they have pretty affordable and like pretty good nail polishes, I think. I haven't tried these two brands before. This is from Holika Holika, and it is a lovely denim blue color, faded like darker periwinkle 
blue i don't know i just love it i think it's very nice i'm very into like muted colors i just was really excited and it had like really great reviews and it was like just a couple of dollars i also got the three concept eyes funny enough this is my first ever like three concept eyes item i don't know i don't know why i just never wanted any of the things like enough i think but this is really cool because it is like a really nice burnt orangey brown very very trendy and actually looks like this color but it's actually not i'm excited to try this color out also i just really dig the packaging it's kind of cute right okay so i also picked up my very first item from too cool for school and this is the art class and this is like the most famous thing they have i think it is a contour powder that is in like increasing shades of darkness i really like it because i do tend to like I don't know if you guys have the same problem as me but I tend to vary in skin tone so I can be very fair if I'm out of the sun but I also get very very tan the moment I'm in the sun so I got this just because I guess you could like customize your own contour shade so you can just kind of like tailor the contour to your skin tone and to what kind of makeup look you want to go for. I was just pretty excited about this and the pigmentation is pretty nice. It's not chalky, it's not dusty and I've used it a couple of times. I like the result, it's very very natural. So yeah, I really really like this one and also the packaging is just stellar. I feel really bad because I have to show you guys like like this but actually it came in a really really cute like suitcase you could choose between like New York and I think Korea based on the location it was like travel themed these are like the little peripera bottles but in like really minuscule size and I just love it because then you can sample and try out everything so there is a concealer which is far too light for me I'm probably just gonna use it as like a cream highlight ink multi which I think is just like a contour slash eyeshadow slash whatever else you want to use it for I really like the shade I think it's very neutral it's not too dark so like if I want a really gentle contour I can get this done and because of its mousse texture it's really easy to blend and the finish is really subtle so that's what I really like about this it also comes with the airy tint and the velvet tint and then the water tint which is in like a different packaging which is super cute but I love the peripera tint so it just makes sense that I got it they are just so convenient and they stay on and they're very hassle free so if you haven't tried tints before I really highly recommend you get that sampler pack because then you just have a bunch of everything you know speaking of peripera I also have two lip balms I think it was a bit excessive for me to get two uh, it's a problem that I have and I probably shouldn't but when I cannot decide I just get both so this is the moist lip balm in both peach and strawberry and I prefer the strawberry one okay I'm not gonna lie I was a little bit cheated because I thought that these would be a lot more pigmented than they really are but the colour is so sheer that it legit does not come off at all so it really doesn't matter which shade you get I just prefer the smell even though like I feel like I probably would have gotten on with the peach better these are eye glitters and I got one that came inside a tube and then one that's loose I, I kind of regret it just because I realised I literally have never reached for my pigments and like my glitters. I think it's always a great idea and they're very very pigmented but I just don't reach for them but this is beautiful. This is from Beauty People and this is a pressed pigment so you literally have to unscrew this, remove the lid and then you can use the glitters. They are loose though and if you don't mind the mess I really highly recommend you get it because it is stunning. It is so beautiful especially because the flakes and the glitters are like in different sizes so it really comes off as like a really beautiful foil. And it's pretty phenomenal. It's just really annoying to use, for me at least, because I don't like mess and I'm usually rushing when I do my makeup so yeah. This is much more up my alley. This is the Holika Holika Eye Metal Glitter in number one Stella Dust and it is insane because I think I wanted number three and then number three was sold out and then I tried to get number four and then number four was sold out and so I had to get this one but this is still super super amazing. Really pretty, so beautiful. If you think of glitter nail polish, this is exactly what it is but like on your eyes. Um, I haven't actually tried blending it out yet so I don't know the blendability but honestly I don't think you have to blend it if you use this as like a topper. If you want like a really insane highlight, if you're going for like a music festival, this is phenomenal. So I really like this. I cannot wait to use this. I just don't know when. I will do it one day. Maybe I'll like put it on for 
a video or something. The next item I got is a lash serum. It's very appropriately named my lash serum and I think it's from Etude House but I can't remember. It's not on the packaging here which is kind of strange. I wanted a lash serum while I was in New York because I had like really lame and short lashes but now I have extensions so I am gonna hit pause on this. I'm gonna let you guys know how I find it another time. I'm thinking of doing like a monthly favourite and also stuff that I really hate. Not to say that I will definitely hate that but I'm just like ricocheting all of my thoughts. Let me know if you guys want that or if you guys only want favourites. Only positive vibes, let me know. I also have three eyeliners, three brush eyeliners which sounds really crazy and unnecessary but I have been looking for the perfect brush liner. I use a lot of higher end brush liners which they are good but they're not good for my wallet, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to find like alternatives to see if like any other brand has a really good brush liquid liner. So these three on hand, I'm gonna just talk about them together. This is from McQueen, this is from Etude House, and this is from Secret Key. I will be straight up with you guys, I hate the Secret Key one. It's ridiculously bad. The brush is very very comfortable, but the ink is not black. Like, it's just kind of like a weird diluted grey colour, and it just looks kind of like too liquidy, too bubbly, and then it's not black. So I want my eyeliner to be like jet black, so... This doesn't work for me. I guess if you like an eyeliner that's not black but still kind of black, you can go for this. I don't know who would like that but there's something out there for everyone I guess. The McQueen one I distinctly remember was very affordable which is why I was like meh, let's just try it. It's good. Uh, I wouldn't say it's phenomenal. It does give you a really great fine tip though so if you're looking for a fine tip liner at a budget like this is a really great option. But you know what? I love the Etude House one the most. It's so inky. Now I don't know about longevity so I don't know how long they last but as of first application like this is phenomenal. You can get really thin lines and really thick lines too and the black is just uh, like deep, you know what I mean? So I love, 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 love this one. Moving on to something else that I really, really love too. This is from... From, 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 from... Wait, I don't know where this is from. Wait, I have to check. I am in love with the colour. I cannot wait to use it. And of course, I have to drop everything that I love. This is the Waterlight Tint from Apu. Apu? 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 I think it's APU. This is the Waterlight Tint from APU. I don't know if I am pronouncing that correctly, but this is my first ever item from there. And I am freaking in love with it! The shade is RD03. I think it's like famous. Like, I think this shade is like the shade that made the tint what it is. But I am obsessed. It's beautiful. It's like a tint a little bit more glossy and watery. It gives your lips a shine, but it's not like too sticky and it just... The colour really does make it, honestly. I'm like trying to like say other good things about it, but honestly I just really really love the colour. I do also love the packaging and I definitely want to try more shades. I just haven't been so pleasantly surprised by anything for a while and this kind of really did it. The next item is not as exciting, but this is a stick concealer from Innisfree. Love 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 stick concealers just because they're so easy to blend. They provide a decent amount of coverage. Definitely better than most liquid concealers, so if you have blemishes, dark spots, spots or whatever, this is a really great option. I got this in shade 2 which is actually a pretty nice match for my skin and it's very very creamy. I don't know how long it stays just because I haven't like actively tried it out yet. And also stick concealers are really great for blemishes because they don't transfer bacteria and they don't contaminate the entire product so I have been stocking up. I also got a banana hand cream. I'm obsessed with hand creams just because my hands get so dry. This is from Tony Moly and it is the Magic Food Banana Hand Milk. And first of all, I just really like how it's in a banana packaging. I know I don't ever get like cutesy stuff. I don't know if you realise but I never buy like cute packaging stuff. This is actually really portable. It's noticeable in your bag so you can like take it out and actually it's really nice. It's not watery, it's definitely a lot more creamy but it's not oily and I just really like it. It had great reviews so I'm excited to try this out. It also smells pretty good so don't know if I've mentioned that. Maybe I said it like twice. Ugh. Okay my final items are these. Now Korean stores have started coming out with fragrances and like colognes and stuff and I have been very intrigued. This is also from APU and it is their like rollerball fragrances. Now they had 
a couple of others. I think there was one that was like fresh cotton or rain or something like really beautiful and I really wanted it. They had like five different scents and the two that I wanted were sold out so I had to get my like choice number three and choice number four. This is green tea and this is plum and I'm gonna smell them like right now. Okay, this is plum. This is definitely very sweet and very fruity but doesn't smell like plum plums, you know, like Swan Mei plums. And I'm gonna smell the green tea now. Okay, this one smells a lot like how you would expect a cologne to smell. So definitely a bit more musky, herbal, very cologne -y. like it really smells like a cologne. Now these two scents are actually very different but both of them smell pretty decent. And I love rollerballs just because like I'm always rushing when I get out of the house. So at this point in my life, I'm trying to get things that I can either bring out with me or I can slap on really fast. So these rollerballs actually check both of those boxes and that's why I really like them. I really want to try the other one. I can't remember which other two. I remember one was already sold out when I tried to get it and then the other one just kind of got out from my cart so but it was kind of expected because these are really affordable I would say like nine dollars I think and it is like perfume cologne and you know how like fragrances just cost a little bit more so I think it's really fantastic so you can try out different scents and stuff because I'm not one to stick to a scent I like to smell like my vibes for the day and that's all we have for this haul I am very excited to try everything out and stay tuned to the end of the month you'll see favorites slash hates I don't know, I haven't thought of a name yet, but it's, it, it might happen. I think it will be useful to see if I actually like these stuff or not. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every week, sometimes more than once a week. And don't forget to ring that bell if you want notifications. I will see you guys in my next one, so have a great day! Bye! <laughs> this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel I make new videos every week sometimes more than a week I, I, maybe let's just go with the first take okay I feel like I always do another take and then it's like not as good as the first one so I like waste my time anyway so like yeah take care sending lots of good vibes and oh this is so Korean wow okay girl 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 stop have fun have a great day have a great evening and then the day after that and I will see you guys in my next one bye <laughs> what was that what was that <laughs>